Hello everyone! In this video I have a meetup goodie bag and small haul to share with you. This is from the 2018 Crafty Catch-Up. If you haven't heard of the Crafty Catch-Up, it is, or well was, because we found out shortly after the event that this is was sadly the last time they are doing this event, but it was a, a crafty and planner-based meetup held in Lyd in Kent, which for me is great because it's only about like 30 minutes away. The events are organised by Rachel of Bits of Stationery and they have been really, really, genuinely awesome and lovely events to go to. I have been to three out of the four events that have been held over the past two years and yeah I just I've really loved them they're so laid back they're so chill like the workshops you can either take part or not take part as you want to there's no talks which are not really my thing at events so yeah they are just fab and I thought I would share the little bits from the event with you so first I'll share things from the goodie bag, then stuff that I bought at the event and then a couple of bits I got from the swap table as well. So this is the goodie bag. I'm so thrilled that we got a goodie bag because no offence to anyone who has a different opinion on this but this new trend of meetups not having goodie bags doing something alternative to a goodie bag, just not really my jam. Give me my bag full of stuff, that's, that's what I want. So so thrilled about this. It is one of these little sort of travel bag things. Um, you can buy them as handbag organizers and stuff. I used to use one of these um, to keep like little planner supplies in so I could take it around the house. So it's this gold one, loads of little pockets and stuff around the side. It was presented way nicer than this. There was like things in each separate pocket and things like that, but I had to just sort of shove everything in there in order to pack, in order to be able to leave the event at the end of the day. So it was way, presented way 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 nicer than this and a particular thing I love about this event or these events is that there's so many little personalized bits and I just love that so much so dangling off the goodie bag itself is this little I think it's clay I don't know if it's polymer clay I don't know anything about that kind of thing but just this little charm that says grace and then has a little pumpkin in it as well which is super cute just a couple little bits that are in pockets that I hadn't pulled out yet. Cute little tea bag and this really pretty, like really wide or fat uh, rose gold paper clip. I really like that. Um, I should say as well, not everything in here is goodie bag stuff, but it's all like event related, like nothing I've purchased is in here. Just uh, stole some sweets that are on the table, shoved those in my bag. Cute little spider ring there because obviously it was near to Halloween so it's been so long since I've done a goodie bag I've forgotten about covering up shop codes so yes there is this really beautiful pumpkin paper clip from my unicorn planner and here which I've obviously already opened this is from a shop called is our wish your heart makes and in here is this really 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 cute little Disney um little pouch Thing. I got the Peter Pan one. I think there was two. There was either the Peter Pan or uh, Beauty and the Beast one. And yes, let me just have a look at the thing. Again, just covering up the code, but that is the shop's information if you are interested. Obviously, I will put all the shop information in the description box as well. A really beautiful bow clip from Charlie's Magpie with the glitter and the leatherette kind of thing going on there. I think that is absolutely stunning and so perfect for this time of year. A very adorable little Christmas charm there. It's a little... Christmas bell made by Station Abbey who was one of the shops who had a stall at the event. Some of the Plump Planners Planner Girl Pippi Washi. I was extra thrilled about this because she started selling them at her shop a while ago and I've been thinking about it and umming and ahhing but yay got some. From Dotty Moo this really cute little paper clip thing. I think this is one of those paper clips that are supposed to sort of hang off the bottom of your planner the ones I've been seeing. They kind of dangle like that very in at the moment I believe but I think you could have it the other way if you wanted but that's lovely. There's my little name tag there which I filled with little stars that were on the tables which I always do always keep these to use in my journaling for the event and stuff and this will go and hang up with all my other event lanyards. And from Crafty Bonbons which is the sort of uh, I can't think of the word like the two shops have got together to make things which is Crafty Alley and uh, Bonbons Kawaii a little just like pack here of cute little bits and pieces if I can pull these out yeah that's it the two shops get together to do a monthly planner stationery and scrapbooking themed box there again all the information I'll put in the description box but there's a couple of cute little bits in here so there's a little magnetic clip that says hashtag beautiful on there I love anything black and white so I love that a couple of these little I can't think of what these are called I see them all the time on Instagram these little circle things to like track your day 
and stuff. There is a name, but it's just poof, gone out of my head. This lovely lighthouse journaling card, which I think is absolutely gorgeous. A little tag there made with, I recognise that. I think I know it's, I recognise what paper that's from and I can't think off the top of my head. And then some cute little stickers there as well. More things I stole from the table to do journaling with. <laughs> yes, table's beautifully decorated. There was a pumpkin that had been hollowed out and with loads of sweets inside and stuff and obviously name tags and all that kind of thing and beautiful stars and lots of things to use in your um, scrapbooking and journaling and memory keeping in general if you wish little name tag place card thing there as well raffle tickets which I never win anything so I just keep them again for memory keeping this little die cut was in there with this um is from the shop Savvy Moo Plans. Is it Savvy Moo Plans? I may have got that wrong. Um, but this very adorable little personalised die cut with the little cow. So cute. Information about the day there. And then there was also, this made us so happy, a photo booth. And there's probably a lot of glare from my lights on these, so I apologise. But yes, there was a photo booth. So my best friend Alice and I did silly things in the photo booth. So there's those. Absolutely amazing for any memory keeping. They also had there these little trick or treat bags that you could buy for a pound each and this was in mine and at first I had absolutely no idea what it was. I'm like, is it a hair comb? Is it a, what is it? But I asked Rachel, the organiser, when she was near my table and she explained that it's actually to keep your book or your traveller's notebook open so you can slide it into the traveller's notebook like that and hold it open while you're doing stuff in it and I was like, Oh, I see. Oh, that's actually a brilliant thing. So, yes, at first I was like, what? I'm the... But it turns out it's actually a really useful, awesome thing. So I'm really pleased with that. A Unibal Eye Fine Liner Pen. There was a doodling workshop on the day by the, um, the lovely lady who runs the Paper Lobster. Her first name has just popped out of my head. I'm very sorry. Sorry about that. But yes, a little pen to do the do doodling workshop with. Lovely bits of stationery little sticker folder here. This was also something that wasn't actually in the goodie bag, um, it was handed out later on, but it's a very lovely Geeky Dory Traveller's Notebook insert, uh, standard size I believe. I can't actually currently get this off at the moment, but it's just got lovely plain paper in here and this really lovely hand-drawn cover there. I think that's beautiful. Then we have the Crafty Catch-Up Mini Scrapbook Pack. There's all sorts of little bits in here. I'll just move this aside and show you. So we have a couple of brads, a couple of little washi samples there, some very cute little scrabble tiles and some blue and gold twine. I do think they were quite different for every single person, like every single person got different letters. Um, Alice, um, who was sat next to me, got like ribbon instead of twine, so there was all quite a mix of things. There is a journaling card as well, a lovely bit of 6x6 paper and finally a book page from Pride and Predge actually. <laughs> And finally for the goodie bag a few more shop freebies and samplers and stuff so this is the little sampler freebie from Chocho and Mimi who also had a stool at the event as well I love the planner friends make the best friends thing that ombre color in the background very beautiful then from the mix match planner I'm just covering up the code there but just some lovely little samplers there I like this cute little thingamajiggy here holding the YouTube sign but all the sort of the glitter effect and everything really pretty from the Joy of Planning, another little sampler. I love this washi sticker there particularly, but these little girls here, the one, there's one with dark red hair, so that makes me very happy. So I'll have to check out the shop and see if they've got any more of those. A lovely magnetic clip from Philo Fabulous. I love their magnetic clips. I have quite a few now, and I did purchase some things from the store as well, which obviously I will show you shortly. Another lovely sampler here. This one is by Handcrafted by Cherie. I love that bow clip up there. And then this little sampler and die cut from Away With The Fairies Co. This is called the Hetty Sampler, so I'm assuming that's the name of the little Highland cow that's on here, who I think is very, very cute. I think it's fabulous. So lots of little icons and stuff doing different things there. And there's a little sampler there, a little pumpkin Halloween-y one. And finally, a little Halloween baggie with some stuff from Bits of Stationery in. Definitely going to use that little bag for some sort of memory keeping there, but there's a little sampler there and a personalised die cut, which is 
I just love it so much. There was also a coupon code as well, which obviously I can't show you. Okay, so now on to the few bits and pieces I bought. I didn't get loads and loads, for me anyway. I thought I was quite good. Um, I will warn you as well, from two of the shops, some of the things I have purchased have naughty words in. So if that's something that's going to offend you, then I'm just letting you know. I won't read them out, but they will be here. So the first shop I bought from was Savvy Moo Designs. I said Savvy Moo Plans earlier, and that was wrong. Savvy Moo Designs. Um, there was loads of freebies she gave us from purchasing from the shop. A little candy cane a little paper clip, a little sampler freebie there, and a little die cut freebie as well. We she, we she had a big box you could choose from and I just, it said Moo Bucks and it made me laugh so I wanted that one. And she also gave us a little personalized vinyl sticker as well. Okay, so I bought these two sticker sheets here. She had a uh, sort of bucket full of one pound sheets. So I just got these ones. I thought they were cute just for like bullet journaling or something. Little hearts, stars, circles and other stars as well. And then first swearing warning, I got these stickers as well because I thought they were pretty cute and would be quite helpful. And I also bought a £2.50 Oops bag, which has quite a few stickers in for £2.50. Obviously, they're Oops ones, so they're not all perfectly cut and stuff, but I thought that was a really good price. I was actually standing there at a stall, like, holding them up to the light to see what, to get an idea of what was in them. And it ended up I chose a really, really good bag. There is only one sheet in here that doesn't apply to me. So, yeah, I did very, very well with this bag. My best friend Alice bought one, and hers was... Not very suited to her at all, like, to the extent it was quite funny. But anyway, the first one is the one that doesn't suit me personally, is one that says camping. I hate camping with a burning passion. I hate camping. So those will be put in my, um, like, swap box or something. But all the others are perfect for me. So there is a sheet of ones that said, ones that say, sorry, upload, voiceover, film and edit. So yeah, pretty perfect. There are ones in the middle that say Etsy payday and pay Etsy bill, which are not so much, but the rest of them are pretty perfect. There's another sweary one here. Don't be late, FFS. You all know what that means. Thought those were great as well. Some little uh, person ones here doing different things. Happy mail, donut worry, uh, is that cooking or doing ironing? You know, doing different things, one doing Netflix, that sort of thing. A sheet of ones that says PR posts, so definitely be able to use those. A very sweary one here, so look away if it's going to offend you. Again, I won't read them out, but you can see them hopefully there. I will definitely use them personally, but yes, I think those are great. These little cute ones that say family meal. I thought those were super sweet. Then there's these little tracker ones, uh, sort of weekly trackers where you can tick for Facebook and Instagram. I don't do any Ms. Paper Lover stuff really on Facebook, but I can definitely use the Instagram side. A sheet of write to my pen pal stickers, a sheet of appointment stickers, which I think are lovely with that little sort of watercolor pink effect there. And then lastly, there is a kit, which looks like it's called the Boho Kit. So we've got full boxes there and half boxes as well. I just love the feathers and everything. I do like a Boho style. Uh, wide washi and some more boxes and stuff, like sidebar stuff there. And some headers and little icons and things like that on there. So yeah, for £2.50, I thought all of that was pretty good, as well as all those freebies as well and the other things that I bought. Then from the shop Philo Fabulous, I got some vellum and some die cuts. Again, there are swearing things on here, so just be suitably warned. I got myself some more uh, tattooed Santa stuff. I got um, the tattooed Santa like kit last year, which came with like a die cut and a uh, paper clip and stuff like that with basically turquoise bearded tattooed Santa. And I think he's fabulous. So I thought I would get the vellum as well to match that stuff that I got last year. I got the sorry I'm late, I didn't want to come vellum because that's just, just very very appropriate for me and then also this one which I'm not going to read out but you can read for yourself if you want to I just thought that was pretty fabulous and then the die cuts I got this I believe was a freebie that everyone got if they bought die cuts or something from a shop I don't know for sure like this kind of planner stack with a cup on it and stuff like that I got that phrase Again, I got this, which made me really, really chuckle. It says, thou shall not try me, mood 24-7. I just cracked me up, that one. And a hat that says meow, because they're hilarious. So that is what I got from Philo Fabulous. And then from the Paper Lobster, I got this. And this was a bit of a naughty purchase, because I'm not supposed to be buying any more mugs, because I have loads, and I even bought one about two days previous to buying this. 
a Ray Dunn one that I saw in TK Maxx, but I saw this and I absolutely had to have it. So it is called the Confessions of Cats Cup. And as a cat lady, it was just perfect. So I'm just gonna pull this out. So I don't know how well you'll be able to see this because obviously the little writings are quite small, but we've got all over little cats, various types of cats. I love the, the, uh, the white cat in the bowl. If everyone, anyone remembers that particular video, the black cat is obviously my favorite. So we've got the confessions of cats. I will read them for you. We've got, I like to pee on your clean clothes. I wipe my bum over the kitchen work surfaces. I spilled the glass of water over your laptop on purpose. I lick your toothbrush every day. It tastes minty. I catch mice for sport, then bring you their heads. Um, I lick your plate as soon as you leave the room and I'm not really sleeping, I just choose to ignore you and I just thought that was just flipping fabulous, really, so I needed it, obviously. I just, yeah, so yeah, that was from the Paper Lobster. And then the last thing I bought from Little Rainbow Moon, she had a bargain bucket of five washi for five pounds, so I got myself some. Um, I got this three pack here with the lovely uh, boho arrows on this lovely wide washi with like the mountain watercolor scene on i just thought that was super beautiful and this is actually in my aliexpress basket as is this one so that worked out quite nicely for me this one is another mountain kind of scene one but more of like a pen and ink drawing style got this wide one with the sewing machines on and then of course this wide one with cats on because obviously. Now she did have a lot of her, you know, Little Rainbow Moon has all the beautiful kits and stuff that she creates, but I have so much Little Rainbow Moon stuff that I haven't used yet, so I, was like, I need to get use the rest of this before I buy any more, so I don't know, usually I'd buy some of her kits and stuff, but as I said, I've got so much of it that I just couldn't. And finally, I have some bits and pieces from the swap table. I also have this awesome bag of goodies from the lovely Josie. Um, she set aside some bits for me and I just thought I'd briefly show you because they're so lovely. It's a big pack here of uh, wooden and chipboard embellishments. Oh, and some stamps in there as well. Some lovely bits of acetate in there as well. And then we've got flowers galore so I just wanted to say thank you so so much to Josie for giving me all this because it is just incredible we've got little resin cabbage on places these flowers which she knows I love because she gave me some before and I was just like these are amazing and then lots and lots of amazing flowers here so as I said thank you so much Josie this is just amazing and then yes as I said bits just random bits from the swap table so I've picked up some random bits of pretty vellum these chipboard accents from Echo Park, the I'd Rather Be Crafting by Laurie, Laurie Whitlock. I do have the 12 by 12 cardstock stickers of these, so it's just nice to have another little bit of something to use for those. Random die cut that I saw and picked up. This little card here, which I won't send to anyone. I will keep for myself because I think it's fabulous. This little die cut, which actually my friend Alice picked up at the swap table, and I was like, can I have it because you don't watch Game of Thrones? So obviously I watch Game of Thrones and I need it. Little, little Daenerys there. Another piece of vellum there. I just, I don't know where these are all coming from. Some card blanks I just came across and I go through card blanks like you wouldn't believe. So I thought I'd get those. More vellum, some lovely leaves and some stripes there. These Grace Taylor Forest Friends adhesive pockets here. I just thought these might be quite cute and handy for journaling. And I like the little glitter accents on those as well so those are very cute some shaped gems star shaped ones from hobbycraft black ones and like silver clear ones i just i get through a lot of these especially in card making so i saw those they're a bit smushed up there but with a little bit of extra adhesive they will be just fine and good as new some very beautiful cardstock gold foil labels here no idea where they're from but I just thought they were pretty. And then lastly, the Jen Hadfield Heart of Home uh, phrase thickers. I do have these, but I have used a few already. So I thought I saw these and I was like, I'll oh, just have those because I do like to have spares of things and I do genuinely use them. So yes, there we go. So there we are, there was my goodie bag and haul and swaps table stuff from the October 2018 Crafted Catch Up and sadly the last one. I mean, I understand that it's a lot of work to organise these things, but it was so close to where I live, so I'm really, really sad. And to be honest, I think it's been one of my favourite events I've ever gone to, so yeah, sad face.
But anyways, hope you enjoyed this video. I will of course link any shops I have mentioned. A huge thank you to Rachel and Emily and all the other organizers of the event. I am sad to see it go, but yes, okay. I'm gonna go put these all away. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please let me know if you have any questions or if I miss any of the links or anything, feel free to just poke me and say, need this link, please. So, okay, all right, I'm going. Thanks again. Bye-bye.